كل متابعي يلا كرة في كل مكان النهاردة احنا على موعد مع لقاء خاص مع واحد من ألمع نجومنا المحترفين في الملاعب الأوروبية في الوقت الحالي واحد من اللاعبين مزدوجي الجنسية واللي بتشرف بإني قدمته هدية للكرة المصرية من أيام هيكتور كوبر وشارك معاه في كاس العالم 2018 كلامي أكيد عن سام مرسي أنا وسيم أحمد وهنا يلا كرة وضفنا النهاردة سام مرسي اللي هنفتح معاه كل الملفات الشائكة هنتكلم عن منتخب مصر وعن تألقه في البريمير ليج فيلا بينا نرحب بضيفنا سام مرسي هاي سام How are you? Welcome to our uh, show on Yala Kora. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you that I'm really proud of you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Habibi, Habibi. Uh, Sam, let's begin directly with your goal against Southampton. What a goal you scored. All the people in Egypt are speaking about that goal. So describe for us uh, how did you score? How did you take the decision to shoot at that part of the game in the 90 plus five minutes? Yeah, the um, it was late on. Um, there was a possibility the game had gotten away from us. So when the ball come out, I was just focusing on taking a good touch and if I can set myself up, then just try and hit the ball as clean as I can. And luckily for me, it threw in the net. Yes, and it was a very beautiful goal, actually. Uh, congratulations. Um, Sam Morse spent all of his career dreaming to play in the Premier League. So... Uh, Describe that feeling when you scored your first goal uh, in the Premier League after all of this long journey trying to play in the Premier League uh, yeah. and you couldn't achieve until you reached the 33 of age. Yeah, just pure elation really. Um, it was a tremendous feeling. You don't, you don't really think at the time, it's just pure um, emotion. Uh, more so just to get the points, you know, but it's 1-0 in the 95th minute. You know, anything is going to be massive. So to do that, um, yeah, at, at the latter stages of my career, um, Alhamdulillah, really fortunate um, to do this and really happy with it. Yes. Uh, Sam, Ipswich now, now five games, three points, and at the 17th of uh, the ranking in the table. So tell me, what do you see is the differences between the Premier League and uh, the Premiership, because at that point of time in the Premier League, uh, in the Premier uh, season, you were, I think, in the first position, now 17th in the ranking. Yeah. So what is the difference between Premier League and Premiership? And where do you expect Ipswich Town will finish at the end of the season? Yeah, it's obviously a big difference. Um, every squad's had a lot, a lot of investment in, a lot of money spent. Um, it's the top of the top. The first two games were the two, two of the best couple of teams in Europe over the last five or six years. So it's really competitive. Um, we're still growing. We've got lots of new players integrating into the squad. Um, one of the, the manager's big, big strengths is the way he improves people and improves the team. So I feel like we're definitely on an upwards trajectory. And we just have to keep going, really. In terms of where we'll finish, who knows? But as long as we keep improving, keep humble, keep competing, we'll be fine, I'm sure. Inshallah. Um, your first game was against Liverpool. You uh, played against Mohamed Salah in your first, uh, in your debut. So did you speak with each other and what did he tell uh, or say to you um, at that game? Yeah, I always, I always speak with him. Um, he's a fantastic person, fantastic player and he's always there to give advice and give words. And uh, no, it was a really good conversation and he's one of my teammates who, um, you know, I know who will always have my back, who will always be there when I need him and yeah, really, really top person and I'm lucky to be friends with him. Uh, Sam Morsi is playing with uh, the captain Aaron Band on his hand. You are the captain of Ipswich Town, in spite of being not the oldest in the team. So tell me about that. How did you get uh, the Aaron Band? Yeah, I was, I was given the Aaron Band three years ago by the previous manager, who um, I was his captain at Wigan and Chesterfield as well, Paul Cook. And then when the new manager come in, um, he decided to stay with me the following season and continue to stay with me. So it's a it's an honour, it's a privilege. Um, Ipswich Town is a fantastic historic club. Um, the fans have been incredible. You know they really are the extra man in the stadium, the the home atmosphere. Um, we only had two games at home this season, but it's been incredible, and they're gonna. They're going to help us and rally us to get all those extra points we're going to get. But it's a huge honour and a huge privilege to represent this club and be captain of it. You were always a captain uh, in all previous teams, I think. In Wigan also and in 
where uh, where to you were the captain um, Chesterfield yes and Chesterfield also too huh in every yeah. team you are the captain very good excellent yeah, a few teams yeah a few teams I've had um, it, it, it's a big honor it's a big responsibility but I've, I've always enjoyed it some tell me about the relation between you and Karam Makina because all the people see the relation you are one of the most important players for him the, the man who is always in the starting 11 never or barely substituted so tell me about that relation yeah we, we've got a great relationship um we've been together for a couple of years now he's give me the responsibility of the captaincy and we have a great professional and personal relationship and he continues to push me and help me in my role excellent um the fans of liverpool composed a song for muhammad salah it is a very famous song but uh, the Egyptian king, of course, you know it. But not all the people know that also the Ipswich Town uh, fans composed a song for Sam Morsi. Uh, can you tell us, or can, can you sing a small part of that, uh, of that song? Do you know what it is? No, I don't know. Can, can, <laughs> can you say it? Yeah, it says he's Egyptian. <laughs> Portman Road is his kingdom. We think he's brilliant. It's Sam Morsi. <laughs> Do you remember what when were the uh, uh, when was the first time you heard that song and how was your feeling at the time i can't remember to be honest it was um i think it was a fan who made it on twitter uh, he got a little bit of traction and um i think at first he started slowly and now it echoes around the stadium so again it's a it's a really proud thing to feel that and to feel the love from the fans yes sam Morse signed his contract with ipswich town i think three years ago at that time did sam believe that he would play in the premier league frankly <laughs> no it was hard to see really at 30 and um being where i was at, at the club in a new process it was very hard to to see us getting back to back promotions to be honest but sometimes our last plan is is bigger than everything else well it always is so um very very fortunate to be here very happy and grateful to be here and um it took a lot of hard work by everybody but thankfully we're here you deserve it sam because you, you had a, a a long journey you were uh always working very hard so you deserve it and i think it is the prize from allah to, to to achieve that at the age of 33 so congratulations my friend um let's now uh put Ipswich town aside and move to another topic um not all the people know that I was one of the reasons why Sam Morsi made his debut with the Egyptian national team. But that was years ago with Hector Cooper. When you played with him, you played in the World Cup 2018. But now, Sam Morsi's popularity is increasing in the Egyptian street. People are watching your games every week and they are wondering, where is Sam Morsi from the Egyptian national team? Yeah, it's... Um... You know, I feel the, the love was always from the Egyptian fans. Um, you know, I've, I've never been one to complain or moan or make excuses. I've just been working hard and obviously it's a hard, um, it's a hard job being the national team manager. But all I can do is show my performances on the pitch and hopefully that'll be enough. Did you have any conversations with Captain Hassan Hassan? No, not since he's arrived in the post. Um, nothing at all. Even from anybody in the staff or the federation, even did anyone speak with you or congratulate congratulate you at least after promoting to the Premier League? No. Nobody. No. Hmm. Why do you think you are not selected with the with the Egyptian national team? Do you have any problems with any of your teammates, for example? Did you have any problems with anyone as a staff? Uh, it's a good question. Um... The teammates are fantastic people, really, really good people. Um, my first time back last season, I'd been away for a couple of years. It was a younger group. I saw a really young, humble, hungry group. Um, great guys, and it was great to meet them and connect with them. And the staff as well, the medical staff have always been fantastic. The support staff, um, all really good people, all really nice people who I... Um, who've got a lot, a lot of time and a lot of admiration for. 
Um, it's you know it's it's the manager's choice. He's um, he's made it clear he doesn't see me as part of his plans. Um, and as a player, all, all we can do is just work hard and show performances on the pitch. That's all we can do. When I saw your celebration against Southampton, I felt that if there, there was like a, a, an inner anger inside Sam Morrison while you were celebrating, running, uh, that anger was reflected uh, on your face, um, uh, the emotions. I, I felt that he was somehow nervous. So is this related by any way to your desire to be with the Egyptian national team or uh, or there is no relation? Um, no, it's a good question. It's, it's just subconscious, really. I think in that moment, you're just, there's so many emotions. It's the last minute of the game and so many things are going on it's, it's really hard to articulate in that moment what you was feeling you know there was happiness there was relief there was there's all these emotions really but uh no it's a good question but i don't really know okay uh, when we look to players at your position in the egyptian national team we'll find hamdi fathi maron atayya um hamdi fathi exactly captain hassan hassan uh, he is a number six, the, the same of your position. But sometimes Captain Hussein returns him back to play between the the two center backs. So do you see that you can do the same role if Captain Hussein Hassan uh, sent you the invitation? Do you think that you can fit well uh, with uh, Captain Hussein Hassan's philosophy? Yeah, I think I'm pretty tactically flexible um, to fit in different ideas. Uh, I know I've, I've got a big belief in myself to to do a good job and, and to compete. Um, and, and yeah, I think the main thing for me is just continue to perform at this level, try and do my best and um, yeah, try and help the club as much as I can. Did, did you watch the recent games for uh, the national team uh, with Captain Hassan Hassan? And what's your opinion? Yeah, I saw, saw highlights, I saw the goals. Um, yeah, just delighted really to get the wins and to carry the upward momentum. Uh, which is really important. It's great to see the young guys doing well as well. And it's um, it could be an exciting time for Egyptian football. Sam, frankly, do you expect to be there in the next camp of October? I, I don't think so. I think the, the manager's made it clear. Uh, he doesn't see me at, at the moment in his plans, which is... Um, look, it, it's his decision. I don't, I don't take it personally. Every manager, they must choose to make the best appointments for him and for Egyptian football and for the national team. Um, but no, I've had no communication whatsoever, so I don't expect to be. But I'll just continue to work hard and um, keep improving. If you are going to send a message to Captain Hassan Hassan, what, what are you going to say to him? No, I don't really think it's about sending a message. It's just, um, you know, I'll do what I've always done and work hard, stay humble, keep improving and... Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, tell me, you joined the Egyptian national team uh, two times with uh, Rui Vitoria and before that with Hector Cooper. So yeah. tell me, what, what, what are the difference between the two, uh, the two coaches? Yeah, I really enjoyed um, working with Hector Cooper. Um, he gave me an opportunity. He was very detailed. He had a good plan. He was very thorough. I enjoyed the training. And I found him to be a really good person as well. And that was definitely a period I enjoyed with the national team. Um, under Rui, it was I only had one camp with him, so it's really hard to give an assessment. But he seemed like a good man. He wanted to do his best, but unfortunately, um, it didn't end great for him. Okay, Sam, uh, one of your teammates in the Egyptian national team is doing very well in Europe this season. I'm speaking about Omar Marmouche. So, uh, Yes. What is your opinion about uh, Marmouche's performances this season with Interactive Friends? Yeah, I'm really pleased for him. He's, uh, he's a quali quality player. He has big quality. And Frankfurt is a really big club, really big club, and he's doing really well. And if he continues to do so, undoubtedly some of the best teams in Europe are going to be in for him. But he's, uh, he's got a fantastic trajectory. He's a lovely guy and it's, um, it's really good to see him doing well. Yes, and by the way, he got some uh, offers in the summer from several Premier League teams. Do you wish to to get him in your team to play with Marmouche in Ipswich <laughs> Town? Yeah, I'd love to see him here. He's, he's a top player. He would add quality to any team, really. And um, it's great to see his rise and how he's getting better every season. Excellent. Another one, on the other hand, also from your teammates and the Russian national team, is uh, somehow struggling to adapt in Europe. Uh, and uh, here I'm speaking about Mohamed Abdelmenem after his transfer to Nice in the summer. So uh, 
what is your advice to him? Just keep going, really. He's, um, he's another, he has great potential. Um, it's very hard moving into Europe. It's different, different language, different culture. It's a lot of things to adapt, adapt for. But the main thing is, it's the simple things. Work hard, stay humble, listen to your coaches. And undoubtedly, he's going to do very well. But just sometimes, it takes a bit of time. Sam, the last question. Your support for Gaza is is not a secret. It's not a secret. Um, and last season, you were punished for that. But at the end of the season, during the celebrations, you again raised the flag of uh, Palestine. So uh, do you see that there was uh, any impact of what you did uh, for uh, Palestine, any impact in the, the English street, in the English media? And um, finally, didn't you fear that it can affect your career? Yeah, I think it's, it's public knowledge now on, um, on what's going on. And I think a lot of people have been very supportive of the Palestinian people, very supportive um, all over the country. I get messages daily, um, not just from Arabs or Muslims, from English people, from Ipswich fans, from a lot of different people. Um, so, so, of course, I've always supported the Palestinian people like a lot of do and I'll always continue to do so. And you didn't fear it can affect your career? No, because I think um, th there are bigger things than a career, you know. There, there, there are bigger things and speaking out and the support of the people, I know it means a lot to them. So I think it's just being human, you know, the human side. And, um, and it's good to see more and more high profile figures speak about this and more and more players speak about this. Yes, excellent. Sam Morsi, I was very pleased uh, to have this uh, conversation uh, with you. Uh, I hope you the best luck in the coming weeks with Ipswich Town and inshallah soon I congratulate, congratulate you also for joining the Egyptian national team. I'm sure you deserve it and you deserve it. Inshallah soon I see you with the Egyptian national team again, inshallah. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Do you want to say a final message to the Egyptian fans? Yeah, just always um, thank you for the continued support. I see all the messages and the support of me. I really appreciate it. I'll continue to work as hard as I can and represent you guys as much as I can and hope to see you all soon. Thank you, Sam. Uh, and goodbye, really. Uh, thank you. Very, very thank you for you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.